Hey everyone, so I've been getting a lot of requests actually for me to make a video on how I make my videos. So this is just kind of a quick tutorial that I made so that you guys can see how I go about making my Sims videos. I have one for The Sims 3, but and it's basically the same thing, but that's somewhere hidden in my video somewhere so i decided just to make a new video and this is for the sims 4 obviously and it's going to be really quick now i know some people probably um do things differently so this is just the way that i do it and i know there's a ton of videos out there already about this but people kept asking me to make one so i decided to just put together something really quick so um let's just get right into it and i'm gonna show you guys how i do this in the most simplest way possible okay guys step one is you're gonna need some cheats now there are two cheats i use this is testing cheats on and off and headline effects on and off so i'm gonna explain what those two basically do so to open up this dialog box you're going to go ahead and press Control shift c and right now i'm typing testing cheats on in the little box so i'm going to show you what that does later on next i'm going to go ahead and press um Control shift c and put headline effects off so what that does is it takes away the plumb bob and it takes away all of the dialog that happens when your sims talk with um with one another so this is going to make your video look a lot um well it's going to look like you know what you're doing <laughs> when you make your video and it won't look kind of um tacky a bit so i just put it back on so all i did was press headline effects on and i turned it on so now i'm going to do off and I turn it off. So I'm just kind of showing you guys like the difference. Now in The Sims 3, it was hide headline, headline effects on and off. So it's a bit different in The Sims 4. So right here, I'm just showing you guys um, the dialogue. You see how they're talking in the um, bubbles come up, the talk bubbles. So when you put on headline effects off, that's when it takes everything away and then it just looks a bit more cleaner you know what i mean so you won't get too distracted with what the sims are saying so i'm going into cameraman mode right now which i do by pressing tab and i'm going to just show you guys um just how it looks without you know all of the little special effects going on so it looks better doesn't it right a little bit all right so now i'm going to show you guys what the testing cheats cheat does so i'm gonna right click click teleport here and look my sim just goes to wherever i want so i'm gonna do it again with this sim so all i'm doing is i'm just pressing shift and i'm clicking see i got her over there i use this because as you can see in the back i use sets with no doors so to get my sims to one place and another i just do um shift and click and teleport Next, I'm going to shift and click on my sim, and a number of cheats pop up. You can modify your sim and create a sim and all that, but right now we're going to do cheat need, and we're going to do make happy. So this is going to make my sim happy. Um, usually when I film, I film a lot of sim days and their needs go down, so I just do make happy to make them um, go back happy again so it won't ruin my shots. So I'm going to do it with this other sim over here again i am pressing shift and clicking on my sim as you can see she is pretty upset because there's a thunderstorm going on right now even though i chose summer for this season so she is still a little bit tense because again she does not like thunderstorms but she's gonna get a little bit happier so come on get happy and there we go so she's happy now that's so i like to use that cheat uh, just to get my sims back in a good uh -huh. mood so i can get a good shot so step number two is your graphics and settings now this can make or break your video well not really if you have a good story you don't have to worry about this so i'm just going to show you guys um my game options now i have everything on high i know if you don't have the best computer this will really slow down your game um, i used to be the same way i used to play the sims 4 on my hp laptop and i used to put it on laptop mode and that really messed up my cc it would run a lot smoother but it just it wouldn't look right so um 
you know, I had to invest in another computer and now I'm able to play my graphics on a bit high. So if you can't get your graphics this high, that's okay. Now with my camera options, I have all this checked and I do use the Sims 3 camera because um, I'm just used to using the Sims 3 because I used to make Sim 3 videos. Um, with my screen capture, I have it on capture size large, which takes up a ton of space on my computer, but I delete all my videos once I'm done. Um, and then for your capture, you want to do uncompressed. That's how your videos get amazing. So with your um, with the picture um, capture, I have the dialog box to come on once I'm done. I have that because I have kind of bad hearing and I can't hear when I'm done filming. So the box helps. Step three is camera controls. So this is the most important one. So uh, what I like to do is I'm just going to show you guys um, how I get these shots. So I go into cameraman mode and I do that by pressing tab. And as you can see, you can zoom in, zoom out, get up in there, get way far away. You can get the details on close things. So we're going to go to my other sim. I'm going cameraman mode tab and I'm zooming in and out and all that. And I'm zooming back in. I'm just showing you guys what you can do. So yeah, that's how you get really up there. You just press tab so that you're in cameraman mode. And to get out of there, just press um, escape. So uh, now we have to, oh, you guys can also do this um, with any part of the world. So I really like this um, to get the good shots before I go into a scene. I like a lot of, um, a lot of scenery just to kind of set the time of day and all that. So we're going to um, go back and I'm going to show you guys how I do my points. So I call them point A and point B. So to do this, you're going to go back in cameraman mode and you're going to press control 5. That's going to set you up for point A, I like to call it. Then I'm going to scroll up, I'm going to find my spot, and I'm going to press control 6. Now you can use numbers 5 through 9 for this, just letting you guys know. But I like to use 5 and 6. So here's five, and I just press six. Five and six. Okay, again. So I'm pressing six right now. I went back to my five, and I'm pressing six. When I say press, I mean my finger is still on number six. And you see how it creates a nice, smooth um, film? So let's try this again for another shot. This is point, this is control five, and this is six. Five and six. So I'm pressing six right now, and you see it's very smooth. And now I'm gonna press five and go back to my original spot. I'm holding it down, you guys. You gonna make sure that you have to hold this down or else your shot is gonna go really fast. So let's try this again. This, I'm, I'm set my points already. So this is five and six. Six, and I'm gonna go back to five. So now I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm pressing down on six. See how slow it goes and it doesn't look too rough. I'm gonna go ahead and press five, press down on it. I'm not letting go. And it just creates a much smoother thing. And I'll go ahead and press six again, just so you guys can see. Now I'm gonna do it um, again with another shot. So remember, you're gonna set your points that you want. It's five and six. And uh, you can also do this again, like I said, with scenery outside. So I'm finding number six. I press five. I'm finding where I want my point B to be. So I'm going back to five and six. Okay. And that's just me just pressing five and six. I'm not holding on to it. So now I'm going to go ahead and hold on to it. I'm holding on to six and I'm not letting go. And you see, it's a nice, smooth transition. Okay, <laughs> all right, step number four, the background. I think having backgrounds in your shot is absolutely important. So what I did is I set up a nice little room. Um, I used the same couch and the same color wall. I decorated one room. I'm not a very good decorator, by the way, but <laughs> um, I decorated this side of the room. Very nice. And then the other side, I didn't really decorate that well. 
so you can see there's not much going on so why i'm doing this is i'm just letting you guys know the importance of having something in the background just so that your shot can look a little bit more alive so compare this with all the um, background decorations compared to this that really doesn't have much going on so it's a big difference and you're just going to see just how cool your shots come out and how differently they look so while this is playing i'm just gonna just recap with you guys so back to like what i was telling you guys with the the control five and six when you go into cameraman mode you're going to find the spot where you're going to start at and you'll press control five and then you're going to find the spot where you want to end and you're going to press control six so those are going to be your two points and when you go slow you're just going to press down on that number and do not let it go just simply press down All right i hope i explained this to you guys really well but i don't know if you have questions just ask me in the comments All right step number five is the story you're going to need a cool story so i'm just showing you thumbnails of my past videos now i'm not telling you to make a video about a sugar daddy or strippers or anything like that but your story has to be you know just a bit interesting for people to want to continue to watch it so um these are just like some of my favorite stories that i've created um so i just want to let you guys know that the story is a big key into whether or not um you know your video is going to be uh, decent so again i'm not telling you to make stories like i do because you know i have hit and misses too but um you're just gonna want your story to be interesting so people could you know watch it so um that is basically it for my tutorial um yeah if you guys are confused i am so sorry i tried my best there's only so much that I could explain. I wish I could kind of show you guys my keyboard and what I'm doing, but yeah, this is just how I make my videos. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I've been talking way too long. Um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask me in the comments, or you can always hit me up on... <clears throat> oh my god, I'm so sorry, you guys. You can always hit me up on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is um, the same as my YouTube name, and you can ask me questions, and I'll be more than happy to kind of walk you through it. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be back next week with an actual video, not tutorial. Um, thanks again for watching. Follow me on Instagram for updates. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.